Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are going to call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are going to call Jesus, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. It's in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, royal will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And Lord will, this lesson be edifying to the elect. Going into day on, hold that fast which thou hast. You know, uh, what we have, you know, is, is very precious and very valuable. You know, ha us having the understanding, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of this truth, this, these scriptures. It's not by coincidence, you know, and we really just need to, uh, you know, count ourselves blessed, you know, for being able to be subscribed to this truth, you know, because, you know, the scriptures speak about it being a gift. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it. This is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. So we know that. What was been given to us this truth, you know, us having faith to believe, because you have to have faith to be able to believe this, to believe from scratch. The name, you know, that's a, that's a, a gift of faith to believe that uh, who people are going to call Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai, that he came upon this earth to believe that there is a, a, what they call God and his true name is Yahweh. That's all the gift of faith for us to believe that. It's not by, you know, just just haphazard that we believe this by faith that we believe that we're going to be saved from what, you know, people call UFOs. You know, the scriptures speak of them as being cherished clouds. You know, that's a that's a gift of faith to believe that because to that to the average person. This would be considered sci fi, you know, science fiction that is and none of it is science fiction. It's, it's all true. It's all going to come to pass. So I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures, you know, to Lord will edify those that's other the elect, those are hopeful elect, man. We hoping and praying, you know, and that we just continue to hold that fast, which, which thou has, what, what we got. All right. I'm going to read this in uh, Revelations 3 and 11 in the NLT. It says, I'm coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take away your crown. You know, just hold on. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. You know, we got to hold on to what we got. It's, it is, it's so valuable, man. It, we don't want nobody to take our crown. And that's a literal thing that's going to happen. For those that's a, the 144,000, the men are going to receive that crown by Yahweh Shai, you know, to to show that, hey, you finished the course. You, well done, now, good and faithful servant that we did. And we was on a path. And then we that that vision that he instilled in, inside of us to be able to see is is a, came to pass and that we held our, you know, held and stayed on course that we didn't verge to the left or to the right. We, we kept a, uh, a steady path on, on that straight and narrow and Lord will, you know, we do that all the way into the end. Let me get this next one. This is, this is revelation two. Revelations two, I'm going to read the 10 first. Revelations 2 and 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So th what we holding on to is so valuable that some of us are going to be put to the to the point where we're going to be, you know, putting into these into these prisons, where it be concentration camps. They're going to lock us up, you know, that some of us are going to have to uh, actually go all the way to where we have to face death. So, hey, some of us are going to be be martyrs, you know, but those that die in Yahweh Shire are going to rise first. So, hey, to, to what scripture say? Uh, to live is godliness, to die is gain. I believe that's what it is. Hey, I'm paraphrasing it, but hey, we, we on a win-win regardless. 
we're going to win on, on, on each side of the spectrum, whether we die here in the now and we stand as true or we stay to the return of Yahweh Shah. Hey, it's all it's all win on our side, you know. So just continue to, you know, stay focused, stay, stay uh, prayed up. You know, we're in that time of uh, the Passover. You know, this is and we praying that Yahweh Shemiah Shah really passes us over our families. You know, because it hey, detriment and, and and death and judgment is being pushed out daily, man, on a consistent basis. You may be out and about and you see uh judgment by Yahweh Shemiah Shah. You see these car accidents, you see people get caught up. It's all kind of things that's transpiring. We we, we got the web, you seeing all things, all kind of judgments going on there. So hey, it, that time, it's no, it's no uh, coincidence that this year is uh, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble is, hey, things are going down, you know, and we just know that it's going to continue. And we don't hope that it is. We know that it, it's going to just continue to escalate. Things are just going to get worse and worse. It's not going to get better. Things are going to get worse before it gets better. Let me get this next one. And I'm going to close it on this. This is Revelations 2. And 25, but that which he have already, hold fast till I come. Just straight to the point. Hold it tight, like something that is so valuable and precious, something that we really uh, cherish and see as, as valuable, not to let it go because, hey, let me get that one. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So us, in this truth, man, we, we have to continue to have a, a single eye and just continue to look forward. You know, it's no turning back. You know, we have to have that type of mindset. Like, we come too far, make it a point to to go so far and get so deep and get so in, in uh, enthralled and so uh, engulfed in, in this truth that there is no way to look back. It's no no looking back. It's no uh, being like Lot's wife, because that's what she did. She she uh, she looked back at what what she thought something that she missed. And us and us us in this truth, man, we don't have uh, that luxury. You know, we don't have that. To, that we shouldn't have that. Even the, the the desire to look back ain't nothing there. It's all. It's we have to see it as as uh, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shah see it. That it's already done. You know, that scripture talk about they see the end from the beginning. You know, it's already said and done. So this place is already burned. So everything we left, everything we we uh, uh gave up, you know, because the scripture speak about that. Let me get that one. This is Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold. And she'll inherit everlasting life. And that's what we're doing now. That's why it seemed like we we at the bottom. Not seen, but we at the bottom. Because we forsaken all. While the world is, is is doing everything to hold on to everything. They trying to hold on to to uh houses, to their brother, sister, father, mother, wife, children, lands. You know, and for what? For their sake, not for Yahweh Shemiah Shah's sake, they trying to hold on to everything. But hey, the scripture speak about that. Do you hold on to everything? Get it. This is Proverbs 11 and 24. There is that scattereth and yet increases, and there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. So, you know, trying to hold on to, to what you got and end up losing everything. I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, Give freely and become more wealthy, be stingy and lose everything. And that's what's going on. Everybody trying to hold on to. Not knowing, you know, what you holding on to is already is is gone. It has no value, no real substance. The only thing that here that have real substance is Yahabash Miyosha, is having faith in Yahabash Miyosha, the, the the brotherhood, you know, the family, you know, is is these things that actually have some type of value. But these things, these these, these uh things that pass away, that's why you know we. I'm speak for self. I. I endeavor to live a life of a minimalist. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Minimalist. You know, having minimum things is possible. You don't need a, a whole bunch of everything. 20,000 different shoes. 20,000 for me. You know, 
every brother is different. Some brothers, you know, they like getting geared up. But for me, I was like, for what? I when they when these shoes run out, and I now I used to be, you know. But then, you know, as you grow and, and, and start understanding, you like, man, that shit is is vain, you know? That's why the scriptures speak about give us today our daily bread. We we at day at times there is is just like that. You getting your daily bread, whether you on the grind and you know you you doing these uh these app jobs and you get enough just for that day to, to feed you and you maybe and your family. Hey, all we could say is the water Yahab Hashem was shy for that, you know? Because, hey, we understand. Uh, let me get that. I'm going to close. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. This place is, is not our rest. This ain't where we're going to sit back and relax <laughs> and chill. You know, this is where we on the grind. This is where we uh serving our punishment for going off. You know, this is where we, we're uh, getting, getting, uh, getting our ass whooped. Basically, you know, we it's consequences to the sins that we've committed. So hey, we gotta we gotta pay what we owe. So hey, this is not the time to, you know, to get turned up like a lot of these people are. You know, they doing everything they can to get rich. So is it what old boy said? Get rich or die trying. They they doing it. They doing whatever by any means necessary to get that to get that dollar bill, which is you know, we doing what's necessary. We storing up our riches in heaven, man. The Lord will be part of that elect. As the Lord will, this was that a fine titty elect out there. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and blessings to you walking out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.